What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we want to do a quick uh, review of the new Heavy's headphone app for the Heavy's H1H uh, headphones. Uh, I've been waiting for this to be released for quite some time. I was just out on Google uh, Play Store and uh, I was using these earlier. So I wanted to see if the app was available. I went out and boom, there it was. So I quickly went ahead and downloaded it and everything. And I couldn't wait to um, walk you guys through this. Now, when you first turn it on, when you first start the app, rather, um, it's going to ask you to either sign in or log in if you have uh, a Heavy's account. So I went ahead and did that. Um, and then right off the bat, there was a firmware update for version 2.6.4 for the headphones. Um, there was no uh, uh, log that we the change log on there or anything like that where you can go and see what exactly what improvements there were to the uh, uh, to the headphones with this firmware update. At least that that I could find uh, right away. And there you have it. There, so we are really in uh, into the app right now. And this is what you get straight up. Let's, we got it already paired up. I got the, the headphones already turned on. They're paired up. So uh, real quick, this is what you have on the front page where it says device. You got the picture of the headphones, the name. It tells you that you're already uh, up, uh, updated to the latest firmware. You got your heavy store. So if you tap on that, it'll take you out to where you can buy stuff from heavy. All right. And then, of course, you got your contact us. Here, so if you need, you got information, you got questions, you're having issues with your device uh, and the like, having problem, you can reach out to them that way. Okay, now also at the bottom, you have the equalizer. So I tried on equalizer. It told me that it's not available. It only works when the music is playing. All right, so we're going to come back to that. All right, we're going to come back to that. All right, so then we go in here. You got profile. This basically gives you all your information and stuff there. All right. And then, of course, you can log out and you got FAQs and stuff. OK, so that's what you have there. Very simple as of right now. So what we want to do real quick is we're going to get some music started. Like I said, I already have the headphones turned on. I'm going to put these on real quick. Uh, very comfortable. All right, so we got them on. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into some music real quick. Let me go ahead and get into my music app. All right, we just wanna grab any, we just wanna grab anything real quick. All right, let's do some M. All right. All right, we will pause that real quick. All right, so we got Eminem on, let's go ahead and hit play. All right, we got, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, so that way I'm not yelling. All right, so now we'll go ahead and hit equalizer, and boom, there it is. So now, right now, we zeroed out, okay? Now, but let's go ahead and play around. Okay, it responds very well. When you turn, when you make the changes in the, in the app, it's instant, very clear. Oh, it's very, very instant. Now turn everything down. But again, very it's instantaneous. It doesn't take long. So let's go ahead and uh all right again, moving it up. You get great response time. Great response. It's almost instant. All right, let's go here. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead. Let's see how it sounds good. Let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit. All right. Okay. Right below the green line, the orange line, rather. Very clear. I like that. Very, very clear. Now, let's see if we turn it off. All right, and it's turned off instant. You can tell the difference. All right, let's go ahead and turn it back on. Again, very clean. Let's try the V shape. Ooh, that rumbles. Okay, 
So that's the V-shape. Sounds great. All right, let's go try another song. Let's go ahead and try another song. That bump. All right, let's go. Let's get some E40. Let's see how we actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do E40. Here we go. Real first. Oh, man. Oh, that reverb is so clean. Oh. Okay, vocals nice and clear. Oh. Oh, but that bass. Oh, so nice. Oh, that's clean. Oh, man. All right. Well, let me go. Let's try. Uh, uh, let's go ahead in and, you know, we got to keep the 100. So we got to do some acapella. Here we go. Just a little bit. Okay. Nice, clear vocals. Let's play around a little bit. All right. Now we want to the the little slant there. Very nice. Oh, it sounds really good. You know, I think I'm going to stick with the V shape. We're going to do it a little different here. We're going to drop it like that. We will stick with the V shape kind of like this. See how we do. All right. I think I'm gonna stay there with this. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into another song. Let's go do um uh yeah, let's do some instrumentals. We did vocals, let's do instrumentals now. Here we go. Okay. Nice and clear, nice wide sound stage, too. I didn't mention it before, but the sound stage is nice and wide. Nice, clean, clear vocal, uh, key, uh, saxophone and keyboard. Oh, nice. And very clear. All right, we're very clean, very clear. Let's go one more song. One more song. We're going to go ahead and do, where's it at? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me find it. Here we go. Rave Kingdom. Let's try that one. All right. Now we are in the V shape. Okay. Very clean. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right. That base hit. Oh, my goodness. Clean, too. Clean base. Very nice. All right, now we got the now you got the synthesizer keyboards, whatever. They said, "Oh, it sounds so good." All right, I can get lost up in this song. I just wanted to hear that bass. Whoops. Oh yeah, I tried pause the music, so that's why the uh, equalizer stopped because I <laughs> paused the music. All right, let me go back into this music here. Uh, let me back up. Let me go back in. You see what happened? Pause the music. The EQ stopped. Now you pause it back, it's back in. All right. So that's very responsive too. Let's let's do that again. Watch how responsive that is. Watch. Bam. EQ is no longer available. Now let's turn it back on. EQ is there. Uh, that's very responsive, man. That's great. But man, this sounds so good. All right, let's go ahead and pause that. Now, what we want to do now, we're gonna get this set up. And we're going to listen to, we're going to pull up a, a, a movie since this is like one of my favorite headphones to wear when I'm watching movies because of just the speaker positioning inside the ear, inside the cups and the way they sound. We're going to check this out. All right. We got Star Wars episode four up. Uh, we're doing something. I've just got it playing. Wanted to hear how it sound. Uh, now that we've got the, the EQ going and everything. Man, this sounds sounds great. All right, we also going to check for some latency here. 
when you know when vocal when speak when their speaking roles come up. Okay, no latency at all. Very clear vocals. R.I.P. James Earl Jones, but man, he sounds great. Oh, this is really, really good. So again, uh, it, it always sounds good when listening, watching these with uh, with movies and stuff, see, and uh, your streaming videos and everything. They always sound good. Nothing's changed there. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with it. But man, these sound fantastic. All right, so this has been a quick walkthrough of the new Heavy's headphone app for the H, the Heavy's H1H headphones. A very simplistic gives you exactly what you need for the for the earbud or excuse me for the headphones. Uh, like a lot of a lot of controls are right on the cups themselves, so you don't have a really have a lot to go with. When you do, you do, allows you to get firmware updates. Uh, uh, you know, sending questions, do some uh, some research in the frequently asked questions section, and of course you have uh, actually functioning graphical graphic equalizer to fine tune your sound however you like. I was been waiting for this. I'm so happy that's when this came out, uh, and I have absolutely no complaints uh, whatsoever. Big shout out to Heavies for actually dropping this uh, when they said they would, right on time. Really appreciate it. Uh, and I will. That would be it. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to help me, if you want to join me on this journey, rather, and also help me, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the uh, you know, also hit the subscribe button. That all helps the channel. Also hit the notification bell. That way you guys are notified when videos like this and others drop. And also you can go ahead and and become a member on my new Patreon page. I just launched that uh, yesterday or the other day. And go ahead and sign up there. Uh, I'm going to make some changes to it right now. Uh, like where oops, let me go ahead and close this and get this out the way. Where uh, where other uh, where I'm going to start developing tiers where some people get to view new videos ahead of everyone else, depending on your tiers. Uh, right now, you can just go ahead and sign up for free. It all helps out the channel in the long run. Um, so that way it allows me to bring more prod more tech products in for honest reviews and, un and unboxings and the like. So, again, we're on that mission to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting there uh, slowly but steadily. Make sure you tell a friend, share all the videos. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.